NASA's Orion capsule has made its way back to Earth. It made a blistering return, hitting the atmosphere at about 32 times the speed of sound and enduring temperatures of 5,000 degrees before splashing down in the Pacific Ocean just west of Mexico's Baja Peninsula. This is what mission success looks like, folks. This was a challenging mission, and this uh, is, is what mission success looks like. The splashdown wraps up the Artemis 1's three-week mission to the moon. As Newsy's Clayton Sandell explains, the goal was to collect data for the next Artemis mission and ensure the capsule could return safely to Earth. After a 1.4 million mile mission around the moon and back, the Artemis 1 Orion space capsule is home. From Tranquility Base to Taurus Littrow to the tranquil waters of the Pacific, the latest chapter of NASA's journey to the moon comes to a close. As Orion approached Earth Sunday, this is a live view of the Earth from a distance of 15,000 miles away. The peaceful flight turned into a hellish nail biter, the capsule careening toward Earth's atmosphere at 25,000 miles an hour. The temperatures around the heat shield are reaching about 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the moment of truth for Orion. The heat shield, designed to protect the capsule from temperatures half as hot as the surface of the sun, appeared to pass the test. And there it is, high over the Pacific, America's new ticket to ride to the moon and beyond now in view. Navy ships and helicopters recovered the capsule from the Pacific Ocean, 300 miles south of San Diego. Three, two, what? The mission launched last month from Florida. And liftoff of Artemis 1. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. The most powerful rocket ever built, sending the Orion capsule on a 25-day test flight. As it buzzed the moon, Orion sent back spectacular close-up pictures. For Orion, this is not a goodbye, but a see you later to the moon. There were no astronauts on board, but future flights, Artemis 2 and Artemis 3, will complete NASA's plan to land the first woman and the first person of color on the surface of the moon sometime this decade. This is a defining day. Uh, it is one that marks uh, new technology, a whole new breed of astronaut, uh, a a vision for the future. NASA hopes the success of the mission will help pave the way for the Artemis generation. Astronauts who will not only return to the moon, but one day go on to Mars. Clayton Sandell, Newsy.